Hey guys, we've been given this equation and we're being asked to graph a circle from it, right? So the good news here is, is our equation is already in the standard form of a circle, okay? This is very similar to if you've been graphing lines, y equals mx plus v, right? Slope intercept form. When you're in that form, it's very easy to graph the line, right? This is very similar, but we're talking circles now, okay? So when we are in this form, my H and K are the center and the R is the radius, okay? And you'll notice here H and K are negative and for the center, they're positive. So you switch the sign, whatever it is, okay? So in order to graph this circle, what I need to know is my center and you probably guessed it, my radius, okay? Now, like I already said, ours is already in standard form. If you're looking at yours and you're like, mine is not in standard form, I'll link a video in the corner where I show you an example where it's not in standard form and we get it there, okay? So my center here is going to be this H and K, and remember we switch the sign. So here they're both positive. So for my center, they're actually going to be both negative. So I'm going to have negative two, negative four, and that is going to be the center of my circle. Okay. Now my radius, we have here that this is equal to the radius squared. Okay. So 25 is not my radius, but it is my radius squared. Okay. So my radius squared is 25 but I want to know what just the radius is. So to get rid of that squared, I take the square root of both sides, right? Which leaves me with the square root of 25 is five, right? So my radius is five. And now that I have those two pieces of information, I can go ahead and graph this, okay? So my center is the negative two, negative four. So right there, that is the center of my circle. Now, my radius, if you need to review, that is from the center to the end, not the end. That's, there's not really an end to a circle, right? The edge of my circle, okay? So I know that from this line, I go out five in every direction, and that's going to be my circle, right? So the easiest way for us to do it is to go up, down, right, and left, okay? So I'm going to go up five, one, two, three, four, five. To the right, five, one, two, three, four, five. Down, five, one, two, three, four, five. And to the left, five. Okay. Now, just like with a line, we don't have to graph every point on the line, right? That would literally take forever. So we don't have to graph every tiny little point in here. Having four is a pretty good indication of what this circle looks like, right? So I'm going to do a circle. It may not be perfect. In fact, I know it's not going to be perfect, mm -hmm. <laughs> but gives us the general idea, right? Okay, so that is what my circle looks like for this equation. If you need some more examples, I've got lots of different examples where, again, we're not, we don't start out in standard form, or maybe they don't give you standard form. Maybe they just give you the graph. Anyways, there's lots of different ways. I'll link a playlist for you in the corner. I hope this made sense. Thanks. Bye.